Hey guys, um, sometimes working in Revit, I gotta stop myself and kind of, you know, look at different buttons because, you know, I, I don't know everything yet. Um, so it's always nice to kind of go through some things I haven't touched before. And I found the batch print button um, that I didn't really, you know, pay attention to and frankly didn't even really know it was there. Um, but if you, if you go to it, um, you can just select it. It's a pretty simple interface. Um, you go through here and you just select um, some of the <clears throat> views and sheets that you want to print. So if we just go through he through here and select maybe some of these, or actually let's just select all. Maybe there's a way we can. So yeah, if you do a shift and then. Um, shift and then select the next one you can do it that way so um, and then I'll just turn off these ones and we'll just print the sheets and then over here I guess this resets the selection so if you press on that it just looks like it turns it just selects I guess the first um, first things um, or it resets it back to something that was originally pressed it the first time. I, I'm not sure. So we've got that reset for whatever reason. Um, and after you select your sheets, you can come over here to reorder. And uh, this is the the bulk of the tool. You know what makes it different than from your. Uh, traditional PDF creator or your printing method within um, uh, Revit and in here you can order it by alphabetically and you can shift them around so if for whatever reason we wanted these um, mechanical drawings to be up here when it prints the entire sheet we can do that so Essentially, you can just go in here and shift these around however way that you want. Uh, it it kind of looks tedious, and I think if we go ahead and print this. Yeah, so it's going to go in the background. So, yeah, if so we can't necessarily, I don't think, uh, keep that. So, maybe if we reset. So, yeah, it looks like when we reset it just resets it to the last selection so for example we just did these sheets and then it looks like it also reset in the order so if you have a consistent um, sheet layout each time you know that'll be fine but if you're issuing you know different bids and at different phases and your your setups different um, it may it may take a little bit of some 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 work some tedious work to kind of keep that updated but that's there, you know, for people that want to have that ability to reorder their sheets. Traditionally, um, if you go to print and then select views, you can select um, some views there. Press OK, and then you can rever reverse print order it. So, as um, far as I know, that's really the only method that you had within this dialog box. So, what's nice in here is, you know, if you needed to, you could reorder them however way that you wanted before you printed them. So that's there. I just wanted to share it. I thought it was a cool button to um, kind of mess with. Uh, let me know if you guys use it, um, if you plan on it, um, whatever it is. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks.